In a recent interview done, Pittsburgh Steelers team president, Arch Rooney II, did not rule out trading for a quarterback this offseason. So, Art Rooney, he did an interview yesterday with KDKA and he had a one-on-one -on -one conversation talking about how the Steelers can upgrade their team and specifically the quarterback position. And this quote that he put out there is now gaining traction and many people are talking about it. Here it is. As we sit here today, early February, we're not closing the door on anything. We have a lot of evaluations to go through and we'll go through all the options and do what we need to do to better this upcoming season. End quote. So, the quote that you just heard me read was in correlation to being asked directly about trading for a quarterback this offseason to upgrade the team. As we sit here today, it's safe to assume that Kenny Pickett, it's no guarantee that he's going to be the starting quarterback next season for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, Many people look at it in different ways at the end of last season. Some people look at it as if Kenny Pickett was effectively benched at the end of the season when Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin kind of stuck with Mason Rudolph, even though the second year signal caller was cleared of concussion protocol to play ahead of the week 17 and obviously the playoff game. Some people look at it as if Kenny Pickett, he was benched and even though he was dealing with injuries, he cleared it, so we should have played. Because if you're so set in stone with Kenny Pickett that he's going to be the future of this franchise, he's going to be the franchise guy, how are you going to leave him on the bench for a third-string quarterback that you basically had no trust in? Now you're basically saying you have more trust in your third-string quarterback than you do your starter that you believe could be the future guy of this franchise for the next decade plus. And usually things like that wouldn't happen with the guys who you expect to be the longtime starter. You just don't lose their confidence like that. But also some people look at it as if Mike Tomlin was just sticking with a hot hand at the time. And that's exactly how I look at it. I look at it as if Mike Tomlin just seen a guy put up 30 plus points, go over 400 yards. He was doing so well. He had this offense clicking, the first blowout win in a very long time. He won three straight games led the Steelers to the playoffs, so how are you going to bench that guy and then go back to your starter who has just been injured? You're going to stick with the hot hand and Mason Rudolph. I'm sure the whole team wanted Mason Rudolph to continue to be the starter. They've seen him lead them to the playoffs, so if he were to bench Mason Rudolph and go back to Kenny Pickett, and then Kenny Pickett were to lose in that playoff game, he would have never heard the end of it from the media and the fans. So I understand it from that point of view, and I would have stayed with Mason Rudolph as well, and I wanted them to stay with Mason Rudolph, just because he led us to the playoffs run. Even though it would have been Kenny Pickett's first time playing in a playoff game, and to have that experience under his belt, in that situation, that season, it made sense to stay with Mason Rudolph. And that's what they did, and even though they lost, I still think that was the right decision. I don't know how all of you think, but I think it was. But either way you want to look at it, it's no guarantee, obviously, with Art Rooney's comments, that Kenny Pickett is the guarantee starter. I made a video yesterday about Arthur Smith kind of covering the Steelers team and talking about the quarterback play and down the line. He basically made it clear that as of right now, he fully believes Kenny Pickett is going to be the starter next season, and he's obviously working as if he will be. And there's no reason for him not to be working as if so. Because Mason Rudolph, he's not under contract for next season. And we've seen what Mitchell Trubisky could do. Basically nothing. So as of right now, based off his interview comments, he's basically working as if he's going to be in relationship with Kenny Pickett. As if he's going to be the starter. But Art Rooney's comments could beg to differ. Just looking at the quarterbacks out there. Which quarterbacks would actually be an upgrade for this Pittsburgh Steelers team if they were to trade for one? Well, I could really only think of two that would actually make a huge difference on this team. And one of them being Kirk Cousins from the Minnesota Vikings. He's just coming off of an injury. He hasn't fully recovered from the injury yet. He tore his Achilles late towards the end of last season. And he has a huge contract. And you just don't really know which way the Minnesota Vikings are going to go. Will they be able to trade him in terms of do they want to move off of him, go a younger route, or do they still believe that Kirk Cousins could be that guy 
to lead them to the playoffs and the Super Bowl. Who knows? He's been there for a while. He just hasn't really been able to get it done. And it seems like something always happens in where it just doesn't end well. And who knows if the Vikings will want to move off of him. So that's one guy to keep your eye on in terms of a trade. But the one, the guy whose name keeps coming up most is Justin Fields of the Chicago Bears. So the reason why his name keeps coming up is not because he's a terrible quarterback and the Chicago Bears want to move off of him. It's more so because the Bears have the number one draft pick this season. And there's quarterbacks out there who they could look to draft in this year's draft number one. For example, Caleb Williams. There's been comparisons between Caleb Williams and Patrick Mahomes. So if Caleb Williams goes number one or whoever goes number one at the quarterback position and Chicago Bears pick a quarterback, then what's the need of Justin Fields on the team? Might as well trade him, see what you could get out of him, and maybe you get a second round draft pick. Maybe you get a first round draft pick. Who knows? So maybe Justin Fields is a name that's always linked to the Steelers because of that situation and because of the Steelers situation at the quarterback. That's why you always hear Steelers fans talk about Justin Fields coming to the Steelers this offseason and you hear these media outlets also talking about Justin Fields getting traded to the Steelers. But maybe, just maybe, maybe they don't move off of Justin Fields. Maybe they just move off of that number one draft pick and they do what Carolina did Basically, they got a deal in which Carolina traded up for that number one draft pick. Last season, Carolina gave up so much for Bryce Young, and look how that worked out. So, maybe a team moves up and gives a package in which Carolina gave a package last season, and the Bears are able to recoup all these draft assets, like a first-round draft pick this season, first-round draft pick next season, a second-round draft pick, and they're able to recoup all of these draft assets and maybe they decide to build around Justin Fields and they're able to do that instead and maybe draft a wide receiver, draft defensive players with those draft picks and just stay with Justin Fields. Who knows what they're going to do, but if they do decide to move off of Justin Fields and use that number one draft pick for Caleb Williams or another quarterback, maybe the Steelers snag Justin Fields and are able to get him for a lower price and be that guy for the team. Some people are looking at it as if just in the fields, he's just a so much better quarterback than Kenny Pickett. And in my eyes, from what I've seen from Bears games, even though his stats aren't good, you look at his stats, his touchdowns aren't good. You look at his passing stats, it's not magnificent. But you have to look at it as a way of the people that are around Justin Fields. You look at their team in general, their offense, other than David Moore, their team is not good. They built a defense in which was supposed to help their offense. That defense was not good until late towards the end of the season where they actually started making stops. And then you always see late towards the end of their season, that's when they start end up doing good. That's basically how it is for them. Their defense was not good until the later part of the year, and once their defense started playing better, that's when they started winning games. And then you look at their offense. They basically only have David Moore around Justin Fields. That was the only weapon. You look at their running backs, they really didn't have any running backs. Their running backs kept getting injured. You look at their other wide receivers, they traded away to Chase Claypool. He didn't work out. So David Moore was the only person around Justin Fields that was an actual weapon, and you look how he did. He did pretty well. And he was able to connect with him very well. And those are only first year playing together. So you look at Justin Fields weapons and then look at Kenny Pickett's weapons. Kenny Pickett had a ton, tons of weapons. George Pickens, Deontay Johnson, a gadget receiver in Kelvin Austin, which barely got used. You have Najee Harris, Jalen Warren, you have Pat Fryer with a tight end. So you have all these guys around Kenny Pickett. So it was a different scenario. Kenny Pickett was really dealing with his offense coordinator being bad, but he still has so many weapons. And you look at his touchdowns, you look at his passing yards, he was just not a good quarterback. So that's why fans are kind of putting the scenario of Justin Fields in this offense compared to Kenny Pickett. And you could kind of say Justin Fields would be better in this offense. And he would help this team because you kind of look at Justin Fields, you don't think of him as a passing quarterback, 
But Kenny Pickett hasn't really shown anything either in terms of being a passing quarterback. But at least Justin Fields could run the ball and be a read option type of quarterback as well. And that could play very well off of these Steelers duos at running back. So you look at this and you look at the Steelers and Art Rooney's comments and will they, they decide to move off of Kenny Pickett or not even just move off of Kenny Pickett but trade for another quarterback and upgrade this team? It seems as though it could happen and if it does happen, Kirk Cousins or Justin Fields, me specifically, I believe it would be Justin Fields but if Steelers could trade for a quarterback, maybe it happens and maybe this team could look completely different next season. Who knows? It's still early in the offseason. Things still need to get sorted out. Will Bears move off of their pick? Who knows? So, with that being said, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on this situation and Art Rooney's comments about training for a quarterback and how he's open to it. Do you believe they should? And if you believe they should, which quarterback do you think they should go out and get? Do you think it should be Justin Fields or go out and get a developed and someone who has proven in this league, Kirk Cousins, at the quarterback position. Me personally, I'd rather see Justin Fields, but Kirk Cousins can make sense as well if they want to win immediately. So, let me know down in the comments below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below as well. If they exterior's content analysis reports, like the video, turn on post notifications down below for this channel as well, so you can get notified whenever I post next year's video. I cover everything Steelers. I make videos basically every single day covering breaking news, news like this, rumors, and I also do film breakdowns and I'm going to start doing more reaction videos. So if you want to stay up to date with everything Steelers, as this off season continues, I cover the whole regular season. As we get into the draft, as we get into free agency, I'm covering it all. So turn on notifications for this channel, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.